Hey y'all, it's me Barb. I'm back, as you could tell. I've been doing some stuff. I added my headband. I also realized that since I have such a high, let's just put it this way, I have a very masculine hairline, if you will. It starts way, way back. I have a giant five head, six head, half a dozen head, whatever you want to call it. And yes, I'm sorry in advance for the J.J. Abrams glares, but my brother-in-law, the owner of this establishment, when he redid the kitchen in his infinite wisdom, decided recessed can lighting was the way to go. I have no way around that. I could try turning on the little Edisons that are over the, pe the, the pendant Edison lights that are over the island where we are. This is what you get. Yeah, fuck it. Let's try it. Um, although, we're going to do an unboxing. Pat McGrath. I'm going to warn you, I might have done this already and have it on a prior um, video that wasn't posted. Because again, as we clean, we find things. We are taking the time for us. Let's do us. So first of all, this is from a sale, probably somewhere between November and January. Let's just say holiday season. And I got some freebies because, yeah, I also got some uh, discounted stuff. Because you know me, I wait for sale. So let's just take everything out of this box, toss it. I know I should be saving things, but look, unlike other boxes, this one is not really safe for sending out again uh, for repurposing. I do like to save my bubble wrap and my cushioning and if possible, the boxes for shipping out things if you buy something from me on my eBay, but that's that. By the way, in case I forgot, because of course I did, I'm Barb. This is my channel, Be Rex, PR Goddess One, and welcome to my world. Today is, we're going to take care of our house so we don't become a hoarder. So, with this Pat McGrath order, what did we find? Well, we didn't just buy makeup. We also got some really cool pins, like the one here that says Fetish Eyes, which I think is really friggin' cool. They were on clearance. All the really cool ones were gone. I got what was left. And even then, I didn't get everything that was left. I got what was left and still somewhat cool. And then we got skin fetish. So ideally, I will put these on my makeup artist outfit. But can we just appreciate that the little baggies have little like high heels with spurs on them? Yeah. I like my costume jewelry. Sometimes it's exactly what we need. Oh, oh, and we also got a free gift with purchase of this mini size Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush. And guess what? Yeah, that I wish it looked like that. It doesn't look like that. It never looks like that. This is the exact same shade I bought as a mini at Sephora during sale last year. It is Blush Paradise Venus. And it comes out looking so muddy in the pan versus the photo that they took. I wish they would take these with true lighting, but they only don't. Now, have I tried the color to know if it works for me? No, we didn't do that, but that's fine. We can do that later. We have two of them. One's up for sale if you want it. I don't need two of the same thing. Her stuff is so pigmented. It would take me six lifetimes. So what did we get during this sale makeup wise to get our free little blushy? Well, let's look at it. The Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush and Glow Trio in the shade family called Galactic Sun. Outer packaging. See what I mean? They, they photograph very differently. Like this, all these in person look quite muddy. This one looks like a white gold or yellow gold. Here it, um, you know what, let me put the other lighting on. Not as much. I mean, more so. And the middle one is called Desert Orchid. Divine Rose, I guess, is this guy. Or is this Golden Nectar? One of these is Golden Nectar, and one of these is Divine Rose. I would personally say this is Divine Rose, and this, since it's a gold shimmer, is Golden Nectar. But I know the middle one is Desert Orchid. They just don't look like they want to be blushy. Like, is this supposed to be highlighter, bronzer, blush? Maybe. I don't know. They never translate from the way they look on the website in person as well. I'm always underwhelmed at how they look in person. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, it also opens this way. Shut the front door. Yeah, so I opened it this way, and I should have opened it this way. Look at that. Much cooler way to open it. But to protect you, I shall put you back inside your sleeve. I don't always take the good one, the expensive ones out of the sleeve. What's the next thing we got? Divine Blush and 
Bronze Trio Nirvana in Bloom face palette. Let's see what they look like. This one does not have such a cool little peel off there. It's more traditional. Very pretty. I mean, I love the designs. It's very like Bridgerton jeweled. Is this from the Bridgerton collection? I can't remember. Let's check it out. It might be. Look at that. It's just stunning. This is one of those things that just looks pretty on your counter. This is a way better color combo. So I guess the other two were blushes because I think her bronzers are flat and her blushes are embossed with the roses. I love this highlighter. This looks like straight out pink in on the screen. But let me tell you, it is an iridescent duochrome. It's like a peachy pink with like a greenish gold. You know, you had me at greenish gold. This is the one I really wanted. Now, do I want bronzer? Not really. Am I a bronzer girl? Look, I'm brown. What the hell do I need to look more brown for in a world that thinks all things brown and black are bad in some way, shape, or form? Not as much anymore, and there are lots of people who are educated enough to know color doesn't mean shit, but then we still have troglodytes. Yeah, yeah. Another one from the same collection. This one is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Bijou Brilliance Starstruck Splendor Blush and Eyeshadow Palette. So there were two. There was one that was only available from Mother Pat's mothership of her own website. And then the other was available Ulta, Sephora, and her site. We got the one you can't get anywhere but because that one had the greens. Look at those greens. Let me tell you, even this one, this one reads kind of gray on the screen. Let me tell you, it is a beautiful sage green with shimmer. This one over here just looks straight out pink glittery. Let me tell you, there are green silver reflects in there. Um, this is kind of the brightness I wanted from the little blush. It's here. And let me just tell you, obviously I could peel the thing off the, the, the mirrors and they'd all be gorgeous. So it has the shades on the bottom, on the back. Nymphette is the top blush and Coral Cosmos is the bottom. So I like Nymphette. I got nothing against Nymphette. She's a little pale. I mean, she has a shimmer. Like a pearlescence, not a true like glitter. And cosmic coral, she's definitely matte. Opalescent moonstone, dawn divinity, eternal bronze. That's the top row. So if you're going, let's go this way. Let's open this. I can put my hand on this. There's no, there's a, there's a thing. So from Nymphette, you have opalescent moonstone, which is that pink with the green flash. Dawn Divinity is in the middle, Eternal Bronze is on the end, which makes sense. It is a nice shimmery bronze. Second row, Serene Sienna is this nice uh, matte nude. Fawn Fantasia is this glimmering. It looks very beige, champagne, but it is way more medium tone bronze in person. And then Fleur, like in Fleur de Lis, like French for flower. Nude. Fleur Ever Nude. So this is like a deeper, I like how there's four mattes in like a diamond shape. And then there's a crisscross X of the shimmers. So then at the bottom from Coral Cosmos, we have Celestial Celadon, which that kind of makes sense. It's like, a, like I said, like a sagey, celery kind of green. Mythic Majesty, which is this deeper, like burgundy red brown. And then Celeste, uh, Emerald Eclipse, which is a deep emerald green with shimmer. I am so much in love with this palette. I'm so glad I found it again. Because I knew I had it. I just had to figure out where the box was. That's a problem. We need to take all our good shit and put it where we need it. What I need to do is figure out a good bookcase system that has space for everything. For curiosity's sake, I will, in fact, open this and show you what this one looks like. So you can see the difference between the way it looks, the way it photographs. That is the way it looks, and that is the way it photographs. Do you see a difference? So this one looks way more like corally, deep coral, and this one looks more like just brown. It looks almost like a bronzer. They look like different products. This is my problem with it. I love Mother Pat's formulas. However, I think there's no truth in advertising for her colors. Whoever's photographing her stuff needs a beating. Thank you and good night. On that note, go forth and enjoy your day. Do your thing on YouTube to remember to follow, like, subscribe, and make sure if you were subscribed with notifications, you have not been unsubscribed by the algorithm demons. 
outside of that, I am going to go put some stuff away and catch you later. Ciao.